What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Desha Desha Pace, and I'm back with you this evening with another freaking video. And this evening, I'm going to show y'all how to clean hog moths. Y'all stay tuned. Let me change or turn this camera around. Let me show y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And I have three hog moths. And these three hog moths, I have, they've been soaking in the sink, as you can see. And this is salt, water, white vinegar, and baking soda. I'm gonna let it drain. I'm gonna let it drain. Okay, y'all, the water gonna go out the sink. I'm just gonna rinse them off a little bit. And these are hog moths, pig stomachs, whatever you wanna call it. Okay. So what we gonna do, they've been soaking now for like 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna do the same process all over again. Let them soak for another 20 to 30 minutes. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to get all the the, the dirt, the grime, or whatever, um, blood, if it's any any of it in there, or warm them or whatever. So that's what we're trying to do. We got that real quick. All right. So here we go. Let's go. So I got my sink filling up. Of course, some salt. Morton's. And you know, I really don't cook with this. I gotta be desperate. Don't worry about that. We're gonna wash that salt off, okay? My baking soda. Baking soda. Here. And a bottle of oh, wrong way. A white vinegar. Oh, it's gonna cut up. Y'all see that? Oh, it's gonna cut up. Ooh. That's what it do. And that all this you hear and see that's going on is cleaning. It's cleaning out all the look. I'll put these hog marks. I'm gonna run a little bit more. Then I'm gonna mash it down. And we're gonna make sure these hog marks are submerged in the water. Or the best we can do. That's a little puffy right there, so it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna let these soak for about 20 minutes, all right? We'll be back, stay tuned.
What you say? <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm down to my last two or three pieces. Like I told y'all, I was getting started for the holidays. See, I ain't got this kind of, I can't wait for Christmas and to be doing this. Uh-uh. So I got to start early with stuff like this. This time consuming. I can't do this at Christmas Eve. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Desha, Desha Pace. And I'm here this evening. We're we'll going to finish up these hog mugs and chitlins. All right, so look, I've been watching these hog mugs about four or five times. I'm tired of them. I done cut them up and everything. Look, I'm done. I'm done. So, um, what we're going to do now, we're going to get our first boil. We're going to do our first boil. Yes, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I have my hog moms on, and I'm gonna turn them on to about a six. The time is four o'clock. And um, I do mine a little different. I'm just gonna add a little bit of sage to it. And some black pepper. Okay, let me get my salt. Have some salt. Okay. Now what we're gonna do to these hog moles, we're gonna let them come to a boil. I'm gonna let these cook for about um, about three hours. Let them cook for about three hours, just like this. Okay, and then. I'm going to drain it and then re-cook them again for about another hour and then we're going to add our chitlins. Okay, so we're going to cover this, let this cook just like this for about three hours. 
Yeah, stay tuned. All right, y'all, I'm back. I got three celery stalks. I'm about to cut up. My bug moths have cooked down for a couple of hours. I'm gonna add three celery stalks on the top of my chitlins I've added to this pot. Okay. I haven't added any more water because when I rinse my chitlins off, they actually came with some um, water. <laughs> Even though I had them in the strainer, but they worked down on the water with them. And my celery is not finely chopped. It's just thin sliced, how you want to put it. Anyway, here's a yellow bell pepper. I'm about to slice. And actually, you just cut them up however you want to cut them up. I'm just adding flavor and seasonings. Because you know how I like it. I'm not going to add much. This here is just going to, if this is even going to be a half of the yellow. Add a little bit of green. And you can add what you want. I'm just using what I have to mine, so that's all I'm doing. So here's a uh, little piece of a green one. I'm gonna add to it. That's all I'm doing. And I have an orange. I'm going to add a little bit of um, orange to it, though. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, here's a piece of an orange one. An orange bell pepper. Or an orange pepper. Whatever you want to put it. Say it. Oh, I'm tired. Y'all know I get tired. I get up so early. I don't know. I'm ready for the day. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to stir it up a little bit and get these um. What you call it, these um, peppers and celery around. Okay, I mix up with these hog moths best I can. How much I can do with that size spoon? But... All right, let me add some. We're gonna put some. Slap, yep, look, y'all know, y'all know me. Add some slap your mama to this. Okay. We'll add some black pepper. Some black pepper. And... Um, a little bit of garlic, splash of garlic. I'm looking for my okay, and um, some cayenne pepper. What? Some cayenne pepper. Uh, you're crazy. <laughs> I knew it was something else I was supposed to be doing. Okay. <laughs> One medium onion I got to peel. A 
Okay, y'all, uh, my one onion that I have now peeled. Nice little medium size. We're gonna drop this down here in this pot with these, uh-oh, um, Ooh, excuse me, y'all. These hog moms and chipmunks. <laughs> I might have these guys. I don't know. What makes you think of that? Yo, don't listen to her. Like, um, like you can't like pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Would you do that? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna let this cook for a bit. And I'll be back with y'all. Stay tuned. <laughs> 